All right, everyone. Welcome to episode two of Desk to Data Center. Today, we'll be configuring our Cisco 3850 router, technically, um, and doing some switch work with it, too. Um, we're going to be doing everything via mobile Xterm and through a console connection, and we'll kind of go over what all that is. And we will set up simple routing outbound to the internet, like we showed in the diagram in Cisco Packet Tracer. We will set up VLANs, so we'll have VLAN 10, 20, 30, 31, and 50, and all of those will have different things. We will configure DHCP pools on two of those VLANs, and the other ones we want to have static assignments only. And then the last thing we will do is configure ports to have access to those VLANs or a DHCP port. Let's get right over to it. Now, the first thing we're going to do, as you can see on the switch, we are going to hop into exec mode. So you type enable to get to an exec mode. And then we're going to configure our global routing first thing on the 3850. So we'll do conf T for configure terminal. If I could type it right, there we go. And then we're going to do IP routing. And then we're going to do router OSPF one. So that's what we're setting. We're setting the OSPF. That's fine. We're going to do router ID 1.1.1.1. That's what we're calling our router here. Just 1.1.1.1. Then we're going to do network 192.168.1.0.0.0.0.255 area zero. So that's saying that our 192.168, I put too many zeros in there. <laughs> that's saying our 192.168.1.0 network is our, oh my goodness, look at me, I'm making mistakes. That's okay. If you don't make mistakes in this thing, let's just type it again. You're doing it way too well. There we go. Now we've got our area. Now we have to set a route. So this is going to say everybody on every port on this, this router and this routing config, go to that gateway. That gateway is what's going to take you out to the internet. And that gateway is obviously my Linksys gateway. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to configure the first port on the 3850 to talk to the Linksys because that's the port that is actually plugged into the Linksys. So interface gigabit ethernet 1.0 1 slash 0 slash 1. So now we're configuring this interface. Oh, we're in that. So we're good there. We don't need that. Uh, no switch port. No shutdown. And that's going to mess up. I did it. Stop. Okay. I love these little updates. They're driving me insane. And then IP address DHCP. So now that is going to pull an IP address. Now we should technically be able to ping the internet. So let's test. Ping. Oh, you have to exit here. Yeah, there's our IP address. 192.168.1.109. We gotta go all the way back out here. Sure, 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 sure. And there we go, success. So we now have internet going out from this switch slash router to our real router, um, which gives us internet access, which is cool. Now, the next piece we're gonna do is we're gonna start configuring VLANs. This is how we organize the the traffic on on this router we we isolate different network pieces um, via vlans so we just do conf t to get back in here for config mode we do vlan 10 so that's we're saying this vlan then we're going to name it it's going to be called end user that's going to be our end user network and then we're going to do interface vlan 10 IP address 192.168. Would you stop? IP address 192.168.0.1.10.0.10.1. Sorry. 255.255.255.0. Simple slash 24 basic network. So we did that. Now we got to do that for all the rest of them. So we're going to go uh, VLAN 20. Name is server management interface vlan 20 address it's probably gonna throw up yeah. 
and that's going to be 20.1 and it's going to be 25.25.25.0 same old same old um and then we do 30 vlan 30 name this is going to be called server guest one and then interface vlan 30 and then wait for that 192, 168, 30.1, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 0. Cool. VLAN 31, name server guest 2. So these are going to be the networks for our virtual machines on our Dell host. Interface, VLAN 31. Wait for the blip. 192, 168, 31.1. And there is that done and then we need to do 50 vlan 50 now you might wonder why that's split out this is for idrac so it's going to be for remote management of any device we want to put in there that has idrac ipmi ikvm any of these sort of remote management ports that kind of exist we're going to call this idrac because we're only working with one thing interface vlan 50 Wait for it to blip. There's the blip. IP address 192.168.50.1. Well, that feels weird doing dot one there, but maybe that's right. Switch some of my documents. And there we go. Now, we've configured all of our VLANs. We haven't assigned them any ports yet, and we also haven't assigned DHCP pools yet. So let's do the DHCP pools next. So we need to do IP DHCP pool. We're gonna call it VLAN 10, because it's gonna be that one. Address 192.168.10.0. Did I miss something? All right, so I was typing an incorrect command. But we need to do network 192.168, because we're configuring a network, not an IP address. There we go. And then default router will be 192.168.10.1. And then for DNS server, we're just going to set Google, right? And then we need to back out. And then do IP DHCP pool VLAN 50. And these are the only two VLANs we're setting DHCP for. And then do network 192.168.50.0. Default router 192.168.50.1 DNS. And you can always use tab to autocomplete commands in this, which is really cool. All right. And now, lastly, all we have to do is configure our ports. So we're still in conf T. So we do interface gigabit 1.0. That no shutdown switch port mode access. Which port access VLAN 20. So that's going to be for server management on port two. And then we go to interface. Usually have to back out. Interface gigabit 1.0.3. No shutdown. Switch port mode trunk. Which port? And I'll explain what the trunk means here in a second. Allowed VLAN 30 and 31. So as you can see, with switch port mode trunk, we can assign multiple VLANs to a single interface. Now, this is beneficial for us because we only have one extra NIC on the Dell host, and it needs to host both of these guest server network traffic ranges on it. And so that's how you do that. You make it a trunk port instead of an access port. And then we go to interface gigabit ethernet one is zero dot one slash four. And this is going to be another access. And it's gonna be for VLAN 50. And then lastly, interface QMAT one zero five. Do, 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 do. Switch port. Hi, sweetie. Pickle just joined us. Access. Switch port. 
access VLAN 10. No shutdown. Now. Did it show config? Show a running uh, config. All right, we probably got to get back out of that. And there we go. So now it's building the configuration. It's going to show us all the stuff we've set. We will also probably see, yeah, there it goes. <laughs> I've plugged my computer into the switch. Then we can kind of, that killed it. So we've got to run show running config again. But as you can see, we've got all this stuff. Host name is just called switch for right now. That's actually going to change. Um, interface VLAN 10, change state to up. Yay, that looks good. Um, there's our VLANs with DHCP pools. Here is our spanning tree that we're not really working with. <laughs> Here are our ports. So there's port one, DHCP, port two on 20, port three on 30 and 31, port four on 50 and port five on 10. And then all other interfaces are currently not in use. And then there are the networks for all the VLANs. And then there's our router SFP. And then here's some information about the system. So. We should be able to go here. Actually, we can probably use, uh, nah, let's use command. Our current IP address has been updated. We're 192.168.10.2 now. Um, moment of truth is, can we ping Google? Hmm. We cannot. Let's see where we're getting stuck. So this should take us to 192.168.10.1. step should take us to 192.168.1.1. But it looks like that might not be happening. Can I ping it? We did set a global route, IP route 0000000 1 This drives me up a wall. We'll edit that out. All right. So let's see what do we have wrong here? The switch, let's actually, first thing I wanna try is IP config slash release, renew. Because that made it look like I didn't have any network connectivity whatsoever. All right, I've got Technically, yes, DHCP is correct. I can ping that. And I can ping the interface. But I cannot ping the Linksys. All right, so we have got it all sorted out. Check this out. IP address 192.168.10.2. That means my desktop is currently on VLAN 10. And we have the VLAN 10 gateway, which is on the Cisco. And look at that. We can ping Google like a glove. Now, if we want to see the path, this is going to be kind of boring. You're going to see we're going to go out to the Cisco, the, the router. 
then we hit straight to the Linksys, then we're out to Spectrum and Charter and blah, 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 blah. And it takes us all the way to Google. Here is what the problem was. We did not have a static route configured for the quote unquote gateway port, that is the outbound port on the Cisco 3850 to send traffic for other VLANs on there. Now we're gonna need to add one for 20, 30, 31, and 50, but I'll do that at a later time. All that to say, we've done it. We have got the Cisco 3850 configured. Uh, we have got multiple VLANs on there. We have DHCP configured. We've even configured o OSPF, which I was not expecting to do at all. Um, so yeah, I wanna give a humongous shout out to my coworkers who are much more knowledgeable in networking than I am and taught me all of this in the matter of about a day. And obviously this is a very rough network concept. There's still a lot of pieces missing. Desk to data center. We just wanted to get networking working, VLANs working, and have it all configured. Now the last thing we need to do is we'll go back over here. We will go back to our live screen and we want to type, we want to type copy running config startup config. Now what that's gonna do is it's gonna take the running config that we're using right now and push that to the starting config so that every time it boots up, that configuration stays exactly the way we want it. We can also do things such as pull the config out, which I'll be doing. I will pull this configuration out because it's nothing that anyone else can't have and put it on the GitHub or, so that you have access to it to review it. Um, I will also put a copy of all those steps we did today and the documentation. Some of it will be specific to me because I'm using a Linksys. Other pieces will be pretty generic and can, you can be whatever you want to. None of this is IP information that's going to you know, open you up to the world. This is all an internal network for right now. But again, super big thanks to my coworkers uh, to help me get started on all this networking stuff. And super big thanks to all of you for tuning in and watching episode two of Desta Data Center. I hope you liked it. I hope it was informative. I hope you have lots of questions because um, I'd love to hear from you and I'd love to answer those questions. And don't forget to like and subscribe uh, if you enjoy the content. Thanks, and we'll see you in the next one.